Hey, welcome to this week's video. It is summer fashion and accessories. I've been reading your comments in the comment section and a lot of you have been asking how to accessorize summer outfits. What are some things that are on trend? How to put this with that? What should I be looking for? And so what I've decided to do is essentially shop my own closet. There, there are a few pieces that are new and anything new, I'll provide a link to it. But for the most part, this is an ideas video. I want you to be able to take what you have, repurpose it, put it together with some other things that you might not have thought about and be able to say, wow, you know, look at this outfit. Never would have put this together and I really like how it wears on me. So as I was just sort of combing through the trends, it really put a smile on my face because so much of it reminds me of the 70s and the 80s. The colors, bam, they're explosive. Big, bright, bold colors. If you don't own anything in yellow, you're gonna have to. And don't say, I can't wear yellow because I'm gonna show you two different outfits. One is a little bit more of an orangey yellow, the other is a little bit more of a green yellow. So the pendulum in yellow can swing both ways and I bet you you can find one that'll suit your skin tone. Big pop, earrings, necklaces, cuffs, chains, chunky. I mean, it's really, it's so, it's happy. It's happy fashion. Of course, hats will be featured as well. We're in the summer months. We want to be able to protect our face, chest, and shoulders. Um, cute, colorful bags and things like that. This outfit, in case you're wondering, is by a good friend of mine, Chloe Dow, who was the season two winner of Project Runway. And she's from Houston. She has amazing clothing at the most incredible price point. So a couple of pieces are hers and I'll provide links to her store for you. And the rest, like I said, are just, you know, random pieces that I got here and there. But anyway, enough talking. Let's launch in and you know me, I like to name my outfits. And so the first one I'm just gonna call Walking on Sunshine. You know, the old Katrina in the Wave song. It's just that happy yellow. And this dress is by Chloe Dow. I went with a super colorful bag, a really neat pop of green. And I thought, okay, if I'm going with the green bag, then I'm definitely gonna go with the green platform shoes. And by the way, platforms, super big. I hope you held on to some of your platforms from the 70s. If not, you can go buy them. Even better, you can find them vintage or resale. And then a cuff, cuff uh, jewelry, big, bold, bright colors. And you know what else is super popular? Big gold hoop earrings. So you've got that going on, plus the big sunglasses, and it's just a massive color pop and a lot of expression, a lot of fun. It's just happy. And it's light and airy, and I just think color does so much for the skin. So please don't shy away from color. A lot of things as we get out of the winter months, you know, everything is black and beige and gray and all of that. And it just feels so good to brighten things up, especially if you caught my self-tan video from a couple of weeks ago and your skin is getting a little darker in color, then these colors are just gonna scream against your new tan. So there. Okay, so next up is that variant on yellow. And so this is now that more green yellow, a little bit lime type of a color. And this I'm doing with a white jean. And I love the fact that flared jeans are back again. That makes me so very happy. And also waistlines are altering a little bit in the jeans. So you can still get the high waist flare. You can get a mid-rise from Seven for All Mankind. This is another blouse uh, by Chloe Dow. I love this sort of silky satin drape that it has going on. It's actually a bodysuit that snaps and it has that really cute tie detail on the shoulders and the back. But the trend that I wanna focus on accessory wise is the gold and the layering. And I love that kind of dainty long gold necklace with a short a shorter gold necklace with you know gold drop earrings um, tinted sunglasses by the way are really big remember in the 70s so I've got my rose colored shades going on with that cuffs again so a gold cuff with some gold bangles around my wrist um, the white belt with the gold buckle cute little white booties to go with it. And I wanted to pop on a hat with this look. And this is a hat that I usually wear when I'm laying out uh, poolside. It's, you know, a goldish color hat. So if I have any gold embellishments in my bathing suit, this hat really picks that up. Oh, and a, a really cute little gold purse. 
but variations now from what you saw in the first outfit along with the hat and i just love all of the accessories white obviously a no-brainer for summer and i love this dress in particular a shirt dress to me is just the most comfortable thing ever you can wear it in so many ways with tennis shoes with boots uh, this particular shirt dress is a little bit on the sheer side so i've got this white kind of a tank dress like a mini that i'm wearing underneath it and that way i'm allowed to bring the button sort of up on the dress the other huge well there are a couple of really big trends that are going on here wide belts massively wide belts also thick chain necklaces and piling on chains kind of high up around the neck so silver is big so i did a chain silver necklace i did a chain around my wrist i did long chain kind of drop earrings with this of course the brown had to continue so the hat is brown the sunglasses are also brown the wedge sandals are old donald pliner sandals that i've had forever in a day and they've got the cute embroidery and the orange and beige kind of on the um, side part of it but it's free it's flowy this to me just sort of screams vacation i think you could add a really nice brown weave tote or something like that to go along with it or a canvas type of a bag and it would just be a perfect vacation type of a look especially if you've got a beach vacation but that sort of shirt dress is easy breezy cover girl <laughs> so there you go so anyway now we're moving on to the last outfit and i wanted to do something that was a little bit more nighttime and again pop in the color and so this is kind of like guns and roses in a way because the outfits the rose part in terms of color and everything else is kind of gunmetal golds metals and things like that and so this is a jumpsuit that i got recently and it's by karen millen who i absolutely adore if you've not visited their website you must um, i'll have a link to it but i immediately for me it was the gold buttons on this kind of bright orangey red jumpsuit that led the way in terms of jewelry so again choker that layering the beading around the neckline big 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 stuff this is fairchild baldwin from new york i figured the necklace was so big i didn't need to do any earrings but i took that kind of metal idea, brought it to my wrist. Also these shoes, again, platforms, like I mentioned, are big. These are vintage Gucci that I bought at a resale store in Houston many years ago, and I love them. And I keep them because, you know, some seasons they're in, some they're not, but looky here, they're actually in. And my sunglasses with this have that kind of gun metal type of a look with the gray frame and then the gold around it. So again, big, bold and bright. Don't be afraid to make it pop and just have fun shopping your closet and putting some interesting things together. But like I said, it was just so cool to see all this big chunky stuff coming back again and all of these amazing colors. So hopefully you held on to some of those things from your past. If not, I will provide links to things that I cannot find for you kind of as suggestions that you'll see in the description portion below. So I hope hope to be able to guide you to some places and at least make your shopping excursion a little bit easier for you and and see what we can um, pull together but i just more than anything want you to just get into your closet look for what you have and start pairing some things together really start pairing some bold bright colors if you have chunky earrings that are bright pop that with something colorful just have fun and don't forget your hat protect your face protect your skin tinted moisturizers was last week if you want a reference for um, some kind of skin coverage that gives you a little tint but not too much makeup there's that and next week is going to be so exciting because we're working on a wedding dress video amazon haul what to wear to a wedding garden cocktail and formal uh, nothing has arrived yet <laughs> so i say that i put that out there nothing's arrived fingers crossed i've got courtney yuana and my mother um, so this should be a total hoot and that'll be next week anyway uh, comments and suggestions leave it for me below in the description <laughs> in the comment section not in the description section and follow me on social media during the week i'd love to see you there and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up much appreciated and go out be bold in your bright colors and be blessed and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye.